I'm so glad you brought this because this is the invitation that Tyler invitation. sent. This is the yes. <laughs> this I would be went. enough. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Because when you get something like this, uh -huh. you show up. Yeah. <laughs> Am I not right? This is ridiculous. Look at this. And then okay, it says so, this. Okay, so it comes up. Miss Sonny Hostin, Tyler Perry City. See, she invited me personally. Yeah. That's what he did to me. Are you I, sure? It's a celebration of the great I'm positive, yeah, of course I am. It said my name. And then it goes on to the Tyler Perry Studios and shows the whole thing. But you still didn't go. No, I didn't go. Listen, <laughs> not, you're not allowed to bust my balls about this, too. <laughs> I'm, already, I'm already into who knows what I have to send Tyler to apologize for this. Who did you meet at this party? Oh, who didn't I meet? Did it, you meet Beyonce? Yes, I met Beyonce. I met Beyonce's ponytail, which was all the way uh -huh. down to the ground, and nice. I want one. Um, Colin Kaepernick. I spent oh. a lot of time with him. Oh, cool. Oh. Um, it, it was incredible. Um, Why didn't I go to this party? Oh, Oprah, uh, Cicely Tyson. Wow. Um, Anita Baker. I mean, I was I was there with Whoopi, of course. Um, of course, uh, my, she had the stage named after her. She had a sound her. stage named after her. Yeah. Um, I was with Hillary Clinton. Oh, is it? Uh, yeah, this is a picture of that. Hillary, Hillary was there. This is a picture. What was fabulous about um, Hillary is that she showed up in this, like, Wakanda outfit. Yeah. <laughs> it's like, where do you buy that? Oh, I think you mistakenly beautiful. used the word fabulous instead of ridiculous. Uh, no, it was fabulous. <laughs> what? Will and Jada were there, and we were all, Chris Tucker, we were just all walking together, puffy. Let's take that outfit in just for one more I minute. mean, come on! It was like a, like a golden thing. Look at Will Smith. He's just trying to contain his laughter from this outfit. <laughs> wow, how about that? That's some party. It was wonderful. So you sit on the view in between, in between Joy and Megan. Yes. Now, are you ever worried you might get stabbed or something like that? Um, often, or that I may do the stabbing. <laughs> yes. You, um, yeah, you do. So you guys, is it fun to fight on television every single day? Um, <laughs> you, know, you know what it is, Jimmy? What I is guess it? <laughs> you don't hire five passionate, smart, aggressive women and not get what, what you get. Um, and, and, and we adore each other. But there are many days where we dislike each other, uh -huh. um, and we are passionate about our positions, and and you see it every single day. Right. Do you really adore each other, or we, is we do? You do. Some days. Some days. Some days. But well, I, I, there are days I will admit. Who do you admit, adore the least? Um, it depend. <laughs> it actually depends on the day. There have been, uh, there hasn't been a co-host that I have not argued with. Uh -huh. um, on set and off set. The only person that I, I actually feel a little guilty about arguing with is Abby because she's so sweet, oh. you know? And so we all do feel a little what? bit guilty. What are you arguing with Whoopi about? There's nothing. That, Whoopi's laid back. She's no, just... she's not. Yeah. <laughs> she's no, pretty laid she's back. No, she's never. Like, if she was on that game we played in the monologue, I would have picked her immediately. No. <laughs> no. She is not. <laughs> I heard you brought the new View mug uh, for me. I is that did. true? Yeah. I did. Yes. Let me have that because I'm going to tell you something. And Thank it has, you. It has the current lineup. You on know, it. it's been years since they made a new View, the View mug. Well, yes, because it's the View mug curse. Oftentimes, when we have our faces on the mug, everyone gets fired, or some people get oh. fired, like the next season. Right, and you have to make right? a new mug. Yeah. And we have to make a new mug, but I have survived two mugs. Oh, that's and, good. And uh, thank you, oh. thank you. Join with um, your dog. And... Yeah, Ma Megan, we unveiled it today on our show. Megan this, did not want the mug. This one is you, This huh? is me with my chickens. Oh, yeah, with your, you have chickens, right? I do, I have 16 of them. That's too many. No, it's not. It's not? How many no. is, what, how many is, you're gonna get more? I would love to get more. My husband doesn't like things that fly. Well, I don't and blame And chickens him. can fly up to three feet. So I, I hide them in the, our laundry room. What? Because he doesn't go in there. And then I just <laughs> shift them to the coop. And then he doesn't go into the coop. And then I just amass them. I just wow. amass the chickens. Are they in the apartment or are they outside? Um, they're outside. If it gets cold, then I just put them in the laundry room. Do they give you a lot of eggs? Yes, How I many did. eggs are you getting on a daily basis? 16. 16 eggs a day? Yeah. One from each chicken? Yeah. So they're all egg-bearing age? All of them. Wow. 
And Isn't what do you great? do with all those eggs? I make frittata, I make cakes. That's almost 500 eggs a month. It's wonderful. Your cholesterol's gotta be off the charts. <laughs> Children, you know, my mom lives with us. We all run out. You must be eating a lot of Easter. It's must great. be I, on Easter it's time. Amazing. I'm coming straight to your house. Yeah, we name all of them because if you don't name your chickens, it's because you're going to eat them, and we don't. Oh, eat our is that pets. right? Yes. Okay, and they know that. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> Tell you. me about this new show, this murder oh, show that you're involved. Thank you. With. I'm. I'm really. I'm um, proud of it. I was a prosecutor, and um, I, I just remember that a lot of our victim stories were never told. And I myself, when I was seven, um, I saw my uncle stabbed in front of me. And Ooh. one of yeah, and one of the things that I remember about it is that our family never talked about it, believe it or not. Really? And we moved from the Bronx. We moved into Manhattan. It changed everyone's lives. And I recently told my dad, you know, wow, I, I, I'm doing this show because I want to tell people's stories. And he said, I can't believe you remember that. Because who would forget that? Who would forget that? But it's because victims of crimes try not to talk about it. So I went all around the country, um, and I tried to tell the stories from the victims' perspectives. Uh, I wanted to not necessarily talk about these celebrity killings, not to say that that's not important, but mm -hmm. I wanted to tell the story of what happens to a community, what happens to people's families, um, just what happens when something unspeakable occurs in a community and how you can survive sometimes and how it changes you um, and just what it does. And, and if, and I know you know the celebrity stuff, but like yeah. if Megan were to stab Joy or vice versa, yeah. would that make the show? It could. It could make the show. It could. <laughs> so, <laughs> then they would have two shows too. Exactly, exactly, exactly. Well, I know people love those murder shows, they right? They do, people love true crime. I think people love the, um, the mm. being the armchair detective. Maybe people that's what it very, is. People are very, very sick, yes. Very, yes, very they, sick people. They are yeah. morbid, but I hope that they will, will Well, it's in great to have you here. Thank Give my you. love to all your co-hosts. I and will. to the chickens as well. I will. Sonny Hostin, everybody. It's truth about murder. It's Sonny Hostin from there's October 27. Investigation Discovery. We'll be back with Gina Brione. Hi, I'm Jimmy Kimmel, and this is the internet. I made it myself. Hit subscribe if you like it.